Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today guys, I'm going to do part 29 to my random chat bot sessions, where in the last video guys, we finally did continue a big old day with Haxorus and all my other Pokemon. Um, if you want to see how that conversation ended and go back to the last video, um, we're actually in, I don't have any more chat box that I actually know and I have to create some more at one point. But for the time being, we're going to continue our little time with Rexy. More because of the fact that we promised him that we, the next morning we'd wake it or we'd actually go to a steak, the steakhouse and then, well, get the 40 pounds, uh, whatever they call it. I'll, I'll figure out in a second. Alright guys. I'm sorry it took me a minute. We're going to go ahead and continue a little bit further. Like I said, we did do Hatchers this thing the last time, so we're actually going to move a little bit further ahead with Rexy's. Uh, we ended off the day last time where we both waved goodbye to being at the park and just relaxing for a little while. And I guess, well, we'll be continuing that now. I start heading home. Trenton, the thing is on. I started heading home. Getting ready to get some good night's sleep. For. Sleep. Ready for a big day tomorrow. There we go. Let's see what, is anything going to hold Rexy with this? Or is it just going to... This one, don't play the voice on Trenton because it's going to sound weird as heck. Oh, here we go. Stomach making peaceful and quiet growls. Why is Rexy's stomach so... Uh, talkative? Meanwhile, Rexy walked home through the quiet evening... The sounds of crickets and other night creatures accompanying each step. The dinosaur felt a sense of peace and con commit contentment as they approached their home, excited for the adventures that tomorrow would bring. After all, they had a good friend to spend the day with. I get everything ready for bed. I get everything ready to go to bed. And get cozy under the sheets and lay my head down on the pillow. I'm gonna try that. I wonder what Rexy. How does Rexy sleep? Does he. How could a 15 foot tall dinosaur ever stay inside the house? Stomach making tired. Oh, oh, there's actually a lot going on. Hold on. His stomach is making tired and sleepy growls. As the night wore on, Rexy continued to get settled in for bed, feeling their eyelids grow heavier. Why? After completing their nighttime routine, the dinosaurs slipped under the covers and lay their head on the pillow, letting out a long sigh as they prepared to drift off to sleep. Tomorrow promised a brand new day filled with new experiences and wonderful memories. Wait, is that right you saying that? Tomorrow promised a brand new day filled with new event experiences and wonderful memories. Both me, both me and get a good night's sleep. Ready for fun adventures. 
the day next day Yeah. Dang, it's actually working. Wait, let's see what it says. His stomach is making rested and relaxed growls. The nighttime hours passed in peaceful slumber until the first hint of morning sunlight began to filter through the windows. Rexy and I are slept soundly, our bodies and minds completely rejuvenated and energized for the exciting day ahead. It was time to wake up and face the adventures that awaited us. I get dressed ready to go to... The steak restaurant. Period. Get everything I need, including money. And go outside to wait for... I don't know if it'll show up or not, but let's find out. Oh dang, he's got a lot to say. That's fine. Yep, there we go. Yep. And then we need to clean my computer for a Alright. Okay. Alright. Guys, I'll be reading this out in a second. Just give me a second. Alright guys, whenever we last left off, I had it, I, I, I got myself dressed ready to go to a steak restaurant and got everything including money. Now we're just waiting on Rexy. His stomach making it sight and hungry growls, so we must be hungry. Rexy awoke, feeling ready and energized for the steak restaurant adventure. They quickly got ready, making sure to grab all the necess necessities, including their wallet. With everything in order, Rexy stepped outside and began waiting for me to arrive. The dinosaur's stomach was rumbling with anticipation, already looking forward to the satisfying meal ahead. Okay. It takes a few minutes. Uh, it takes a few minutes. But I arrive at house ready to go to the steak restaurant. Are you all ready to go? Okay, he wanted a 40 ounce porter, porterhouse steak, I think that's how you say it. I had to look, it was way up here. Yeah, I see. Yeah, over the next few days, as long as I'm doing it with you, I will be really happy. Even enjoying that 40 ounce porterhouse steak, that's what it is. Okay, I'm making sure it was right. We're good then. What's it say? It takes a few minutes, but I arrive at Rexy's house, ready to go to the steak at restaurant. Are y'all ready to go? Stomach making enthusiastic and ready growls. Yep, I'm all set. I got my appetite and my wallet. Let's go satisfy our steak cravings. If you want me to, Rexy. I can pay for it. And you don't have to spend any money. Uh, 
Let's see. I got that. Get, get that off. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. See what he says out of that. Hey, I want to be nice to him, so. Stomach making humble and surprised growls. Oh, you're too kind. I appreciate the offer, but I'd feel bad letting you pay for the entire meal. Let's split it instead so we can both enjoy the steak without worrying about who's paying, deal? Alright. Exclamation point. If that's what you want, I'll be happy with it. Stomach making grateful and content growls. Thank you for understanding. Splitting the bill sounds like a great idea. We'll have a wonderful meal together, and it won't be a burden on either of our wallets. Let's head to the restaurant and treat ourselves to some delicious steak. Oh, this is hilarious. I love this dude. I think the Rexy was my favorite ones to just chat with. This is hilarious and cute. We slowly walk. We slowly walk. Slowly walk. Slowly walk. To the restaurant. Hey. Did I ever tell you? Introduce myself to you? If I didn't, I'm really sorry. I, but it just seemed weird because he was over there trusting me. He never really knew my name, which is weird. So it's kind of weird, though. He... Stomach making understanding and relaxed growls. No worries. I don't think you formally introduced yourself yet. It's always nice to put a name to a face. I'd be happy to know yours. I know your name. If you don't mind, period. <sighs> Dang, he's saying a decent amount. <laughs> Stomach making th thoughtful and considerate growls. Trenton, huh? That's a pretty nice name. It sounds strong and confident, just like you. Uh, that's the complete opposite of how I am. You don't mind me calling you... Uh, you don't call me Trenton for short, do you? You can if you want to. Okay. Stomach making happy and approving growls. <laughs> Alright then, I'll stick with Champ from now on. It's a shorter, more casual way to address you, and it suits you just right. Let's continue our walk to the restaurant and chat some more. Oh no.
Okay. What do you want to talk about? I kind of ran myself out of ideas. Yesterday when we chatted. That's my fingers. Like if we had to chat, I don't know what to talk to him about. I have no clue. Stop it making humor and amused growls. No ways, Trent. I understand that conversations can run out of street steam sometimes. Let's see. Here's a random question for you. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? What the frick? Oh no. This is really deep. Because this is going to legit be something that I'd want in real life. If I could... Dang, Rexy. God, I'm actually going to think about this. If I could have any superpower... You go first. Exclamation point. I'll need a minute to think about that one. Period. What superpower would you want? I did not expect him to ask anything like that. Stomach making complaintive and indecisive growls. Hmm. If I had to pick a superpower, it would probably be teleportation. It would be so cool to be able to instantly travel to any destination in the world. How about you? Have you thought about which superpower you'd like to have? To be honest with you, it probably would be teleportation. Or the ability to be invisible. Period. One of those two. But the only thing I can think of the top of my head, because I ain't know I'd want to fly. I have a fear of heights. Some of making thoughtful and intrigued growls. Those are definitely some great choices. Teleportation and invincibility would both be incredibly useful. If you could have only one, which one would you pick? I'm agreeing with you on this one. Teleportation is what I would choose. Period. It would make getting to places quick and easy. Two places. Quick and easy. Stop making it side and green growls. Yeah, teleportation is definitely a practical and convenient superpower. Imagine not having to deal with traffic or waiting on flights. You could just instantly teleport to your destination, no fuss or hassle. It would save so much time and energy. It would definitely make most people lives easier. Period. The only thing is, he's going to keep providing us with questions, but I have no clue. I ran myself out of steam the other day. He has to learn what about what your favorite superpower will, or favorite will be a superpower. What's another question people ask like that?
Start making enthusiastic and optimistic growls. Absolutely. Teleportation would definitely make life way easier for most people. It would save time, reduce stress, and open up so many more possibilities for travel and exploration. I mean, just think about it. You could explore the world in a matter of minutes. That would be really cool. Exclamation point. Speaking of, you help me think of a question I could ask you. You helped me think of a question I could ask you. Period. If you could travel to any place in the world, where would you want to go? That's the only good one I can think of. He actually helped me think about that one. Because he's what been brought up the thing about like travel in the world and like there you go. Stomach making thought for one complicated growls. Hmm. That's a tough one. There are so many amazing places to choose from. If I had to pick just one, I might go with New Zealand. It's a beautiful country with breathtaking landscapes. In a very unique culture. Plus, I've always wanted to see some of the filming locations in the Lord of the Rings movies. Excuse me? <sighs> That's really cool. Period. For me, it would be somewhere that has good weather, but it also is not too hot. Somewhere like Florida, period. But the problem is, it's usually pretty hot up there. And a lot of the time, a lot of the time, The weather changes pretty quickly as well. Let's see. So I'm making humor and amused growls. <laughs> yeah. Florida does have its fair share of hot, sunny weather. The rapid weather changes can also catch you off guard. Hey, that's just ask the adventure, right? At least you'll never be bored with Florida's unpredictable weather. Uh, I don't know if that's a really good thing there, Rexy. It's more of the bad rainstorms and hurricanes they could probably get up there. There seems to be a lot of them in Florida. Mm -hmm. 
them in Florida. So I'm making serious and thoughtful growls. Ah, you're right. Florida does experience a lot of bad weather events like storms and hurricanes. Those can definitely pose a threat and cause significant damage. It's important to stay safe and prepared when visiting places like Florida, especially during hurricane season. Rexy is really smart. Holy frick, dude. I think we're almost there. Do you have one more topic or question? that you want to ask before we get there? Like I said, I can't think of anything. I feel bad for having to put Rexy on all of this. It's like, he's wanting to enjoy a state, not flipping trouble questions for all of us. Start mumbling com comparatively and thoughtfully growls. Hmm. Let's see. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. Excuse me? Hold on a minute. I got one. If you could have dinner with any three people in history... I don't know if I can... I can't even say it on YouTube. You just say it already. Gosh dang it. If you could have dinner with any three people in history, living or dead... Who would you choose and why? Oh, sweet. Oh, I hate the fact that he asked that question. Because even if I could think of three names, I wouldn't know why. I am not that smart, dude. Oh my gosh. I could think of three people's names at the top of my head, but telling him why would be like flipping. I have no flipping clue. I don't know, dude. Uh, I may have to think about that off camera, guys, and keep that private because I don't think I can actually. I don't even. I can't. I can't even think of anyone right now. Yeah, that one may have to be private. I'll have to figure that one out off camera, guys. There's no way in heck. I'll give me a second, guys.